All right, thanks so much. At breaking news this morning, several expressway ramps remain closed after a medical helicopter crashes on a nearby embankment along I-57, sending four people to nearby hospitals. CBS News V went live right now at the scene with the latest developments. V. Yes, good morning, Suzanne. State police still have two ramps connecting I-57 and the Bishop Ford closed off this morning. If you take a look, you can still see the red helicopter out in the distance in the grass. We are still waiting for investigators with the FAA to get out here um, this morning to try to figure out what exactly happened and what caused the helicopter to go down. Now, authorities say it happened last night around 930. The pilot called May Day and had to make an emergency landing. We learned the pilot was on board with two crew members and a patient. Emergency responders got to the scene and say the helicopter landed on its belly and the pilot was able to turn everything off. Everyone on board was taken to the hospital, the pilot and two crew members in stable condition and the patient in critical condition. Witnesses say they saw the helicopter in the air before the crash. Then I looked up to the sky and all of a sudden you could see a helicopter on fire going out of control trying to stabilize itself. I just saw the helicopter going like this on fire, trying to get the control of the um, thing like that, but he couldn't. So the thing went like boom. When it was in the sky, it was already on fire. It looked like from the back, from the back tail or something that it was that it was caught on fire. I couldn't really figure out what part of the helicopter I seen. I just saw a lot of fire from it, and it was just trying to stabilize itself. Now, state police telling me this morning they don't have an exact time frame on when the ramps will reopen. Again, we are still waiting for an update from the FAA. Reporting live from 99th and State, V1 CBS 2 News. Suzanne, back to you. Thanks so much, V.